Wright's passion? You know, I had to establish myself as a business person, and uh, I was lucky. Um, two or three of my ventures worked out very well relatively early in my career. So I set up a foundation in 1985 or 84 and started to think through, you know, what, what, is, what does one do with a foundation? And uh, uh, I wanted to do the same thing in the foundation that I did in business, which is back brilliant young people. And uh, we're still doing that. Mm -hmm. And we're doing it not just in the arts, but we're doing it in med medicine, medical research. Mm -hmm. Very interested in hearing. We've backed the only hearing lab in Canada that's in a big hospital. It's at Sunnybrook. And it's called After My Wife. It's the Sonia and Kerner Hearing Lab. and. Uh, I just had a meeting there last week and we're making good progress on some very serious hearing issues. And it's the only hearing lab in all of Canada. Wow. Yet 20% of our population, once you're over 50, will have hearing loss problems. Mm -hmm. And nobody's paying much attention to it. What does receiving the Governor General's Performing Arts Award mean to you? Well, I, I appreciate the honor. Mm -hmm. It's always nice to be recognized for what you're doing. But I didn't do what I did in order to get a medal. That's not, not the intention. Mm -hmm. Last night you talked about um, uh, the, the spirit of giving and contribution and you know, how Canada is not being supported in the arts in the way that you would imagine. Could you talk about that a little bit? Well, my concern has been really um, knowing our artists, you know, what, uh, what their incomes are like. Uh, you know, we're underpaying our most creative people in the arts. And, you know, take a composer or a painter. Painters actually can do better than composers. Composers sort of at the bottom of the heap. Yeah. Uh, because a composer has a hard time getting a commission unless he becomes highly recognized. And there are only two or three people like that in Canada right now. So if you get out of a conservatory and you really want to be a composer, you can't be a composer because there's no income. So you have to become a performer or a teacher and do your composition sort of literally on the side. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's unfortunate. So one of the things our foundation has been doing and one of the things I work at hard is trying to identify, you know, where's their talent and I try and help them back them. Up.